Welcome to Inside PTI, weekly videos designed to get you the trial information you want, agronomy explanations you need, and insights that'll set you up for success on your farm. Today we are scouting a little bit of corn, late season corn. We're, we're getting ready to be harvesting here in a few weeks. And, and uh, one of the things that we always talk about with scouting is every single year, we just don't do a very good job at it. And I don't know about you guys, but I think scouting is the number one problem we have in the ag industry. Us as farmers, we just don't do it nearly enough. And I will admit it, I'm pointing the finger at myself, we just don't go into these fields and, and we're not looking and listening and learning to what this crop is telling us. And you know, with corn, the crop behind me, you know, it gets over about head high and nobody wants to go in it. We'll drive by our fields every single day. We'll slow down to 45 mile an hour, but radio's on, the air conditioner's on as well, and life is good, right? That's our version of scouting. And you know, if there's a fence row on the back side, say this is an 80 acre farm and there's a fence row on the other end, I'll ask you, when was the last time you saw the fence row? And a lot of growers will probably admit, maybe it was when they sprayed that last spray pass or when they were side dressing, but they haven't seen it. And I guess the thing we're trying to do here at the PTI farm is we're trying to grow high yield. And in order to grow high yield, um, to increase profitability, we gotta know what this crop's telling us. And I don't think we know. And we're struggling with scouting. So I'll ask you guys, what are you using for scouting tools? When you do go scout, and even though I don't think we do it enough like we mentioned, but when you do go out, what are you taking with you? I do think there's some scouting tools in, in the, you know, available in the, in the industry that will help us out. What are some of those tools? This is one scouting device that, that I think can be really helpful. This is a UAV, we call these UAVs, we don't call them drones on our farm, we call them UAVs, unmanned ag vehicles. And these can be useful for us. We can hook, hook this up to our phone and we can send this thing up in the air to be our eyes and we can easily get to the other end of the field, that fence row that we were talking about earlier and kind of see kind of a whole, whole view of the field to kind of see what's going on. But there's really no sensors on this, there's just a camera. And it's one of the things, one of the issues I have with this. You know, when UAVs came out years ago, they said, you know, it's all gonna be about sensors. Today we're going to have a sensor that, that we can put on this UAV and we can go up in the air and we can find nitrogen loss. And I was excited about that. I wanted that. I still want it. They said tomorrow if you want to go out, you want to find weeds. We put a new sensor on and we're going to take this thing up in the air and it's going to find things like Palmer Amarath. Tough weeds that we definitely don't want on the farm but we want to know where they're at. And I guess I'm a little frustrated because where are those sensors? I just don't think they're, they're readily available in the marketplace, and if they are, they're, they're probably not commercially available and, and, and maybe even not um, economically feasible. And so I'm struggling with this. I'm glad these UAVs are priced the way they are for fairly cheap because I don't know how worthwhile they are if they don't have the sensors on them. So we still want to use this, and, and, and I guess one thing too, when we take this thing up in the air and we find some differences out in the field that we want to go scout, um, before it was a huge challenge just to get back into those areas to diagnose a problem. It has gotten easier. I will give the technology that, but I still think we're struggling what we can do with these things, or at least what a farmer can do with these things right now on a, on a daily basis. So today I'd like to introduce you to some technology that we've been using here at the PTI farm. It's autonomous technology but it is an autonomous crop scout. This is not a tractor that drives itself. This is not an auger cart that drives itself. This is an agronomic crop scout. So envision this, instead of us walking through the field, you walking through the field as a farmer, and we've already admitted that us as farmers don't really do crop scouting. What if we could have this guy go out in the field and run every square inch of the farm and report back to me later? That's the idea with this. We brought this technology in to figure out agronomically what can this thing do for us in the field. Yes, the idea is run every row in the field um, over a period of time and, and really tell us where that gas gauge is at. Where's, where's the fuel gauge? Are we, are we running low or are we keeping on the, on the full side? So let's take this thing out to the field. We'll show you what we're doing with this, but th this has got LIDAR technology. I, I call it um, almost curb feelers, but we'll put this in a, in a 30 inch row and we've got a computer and we'll tell this thing, hey, we're in late season corn. We want to look at ear height. We want to look at stalk diameter. We want to look at leaf area index and we hit go. 
and this thing will go right down a 30 inch row. It'll drive itself, stay right down the center, and it's just recording data. Data that maybe we could not see with our own naked eye, but then it's information coming in so we can start understanding what this crop is, is hopefully telling us. So right now, this technology is not commercially available. Um, at least on a large scale field basis. So I don't think a grower could take this and use it to cover an 80 acre field and get lots of data. I don't think it's set up right now for that, but I don't think it's gonna be very long and we do have this technology available and we'll be using these things in the field. We'll have computers where we program it. What do you wanna to monitor today? Today we're at, you know, we're at brown silk corn and we wanna do that last scouting pass in the field. What do you wanna look for? We wanna look for ear height, stalk diameter, leaf area index. Um, let, let's look at nitrogen loss, things like that. And then we hit go and we'll send this guy right through the field and he's gonna go ahead and scout for us. It's gonna be the replacement for me hoofing, you know, and walking the whole farm. So we're excited about this technology on where it can go, hopefully in the short term future. So today's inside PTI, agronomy tip of the day, scouting, scouting, scouting. I think we could all agree that we don't do nearly enough scouting is what we need to do, but it, it, it's a part of our, our business, it's part of our operation that we've got to understand what does this crop need today. And it's almost, you know, one of the things I think of, it's almost like a fuel gauge, knowing where that fuel gauge is at. Where am I at today versus where was I a week ago, a week before that, just to make sure we're going in the right direction. I know, I mean, I, I, I struggle with this myself as a farmer. It's hard to listen and get out in the field and diagnose a problem. It's hard, we can't hoof every square inch of the farm. So we need technology to come in and help, help us do that. And it's almost, give us that heartbeat of the crop. How do we have a monitor where we can hook up? Just like we would, if we would go to the hospital with an illness and they're gonna hook us up to monitors in the hospital and find out our blood pressure, our heartbeat, and really understand what's happening to us. That's what we want to understand with this crop. This technology, in my opinion, is coming, and we just need to be open with it. And, and again, I think this is the number one problem in the ag industry scouting, and we can make this thing better, and it's going to be with technology like this that allow us to do it. If you have any questions about anything we've talked about today, feel free to reach out to any Precision Planning Premier dealer, or check us out on our webpage at precisionplanning.com. Well, that's all the time we have for today. We will see you on the next episode of Inside PTI.